This is Twit. On Friday, uh, Elon Musk tweeted the first number one uh, Model 3. Off the assembly line. Which is a big Woo. deal. This is the yep. first relatively affordable Tesla. Yep. Yeah. Although, you know, you're going to have to pay an extra $5,000 $5, for the software if you want auto. Did you <laughs> you don't your, get autopilot you, did you, have to, you had to pay for that too? And you're, yeah, you do. It's crazy. So, I'll tell you what Elon does. It's really interesting. He's actually, uh, and he'd have to be to do this, but, but I, I will give him full marks for being, you know, the... Uh, uh, I don't know, you know, the, the the amazing visionary. I want to call him the Tony Stark of our generation. Okay. I think that's right. fair. Right? Yeah. I think that's fair. He's I Iron Man. It. Yeah. Uh, but he's also, and I think you have to be a brilliant marketer. So a lot of the features you find on your new car, Larry, yeah. uh, first of all, cost money. But also, what it, the truth is, a Tesla is really just an electric go-kart. <laughs> and then they put on it this stuff that makes you want it bad. Mm. Like the bioweapon defense mode. Wait, what? <laughs> Why? Okay. Are you serious? My Model X has a bioweapon defense mode. It even has the biohazard, you know, that weird logo on mm -hmm. it. And it costs money because it's like some super filter or something. It's just, it's probably just a HEPA filter, right? But Elon's yeah, brilliant. He calls it the bioweapon defense mode and puts a bioweapon logo on it. And mm -hmm. you pay thousands more for it. And, what, is, and how are you what are you protected from? Well, bioweapons. <laughs> <My, so> <laughs> if the if the screen says anthrax ahead, I will be ready. I could have used that car at Berkeley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and actually, wow. yeah, yeah, that's right. Tear gas and, and the and the and the like. And so my autopilot's going to cost me five grand, right? Yeah. So they they the, tout the autopilot. Yeah. Uh, but you I do have it. to. To be fair, you are paying for not just software but additional hardware. You have to have I thought the hardware radar and lidar. Yeah. You mean there's hardware is I, in it? I thought that the car was hardware equipped all the way up to autonomy. Oh, right? maybe. I don't they, know. They, they say every Tesla that's being built... Is that true? ...had the hardware for autonomous driving. Oh, okay. You have hardware, yeah. what they call hardware platform You're two. unlocking the hardware. Oh, yeah. that does seem a little expensive. So you're paying to unlock the hardware that's already yeah. there. So the so, car is a platform, and right. then you get to pay to like to access its features. But that's my. That's exactly. You said it yeah. better than I did, yeah. but that's exactly what I was saying. So can I get a third party app? Can I get a third party? No. App? no well, can you no. make it a BMW? <laughs> <laughs> Although uh, we've learned from uh, hackers uh, who have hacked the Tesla that it is running Ubuntu Linux. Wow. That's huh. A, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. You know, I have friends of mine that have uh, you know worked for Tesla before, and what I hear about the culture there is it's really great when Elon can concentrate on your area of the company, and then it's just like radio silence if he's concentrating on something else. So mm -hmm. I don't know, but I think because the Model Three, so much of the future of Tesla is you know it's riding on this car. Um, right. I I just I knew it was going to be big when people I knew that you know weren't millionaires like people that just do reasonably well in their career when they were lining up to buy this car. So yeah. I think it's going to be a smash success.